Hey guys, we are here with um, 30 paintings in 30 days, number 29. So I have the Jean Haynes book just off camera for inspiration. We're going to do another watercolor. Uh, let's get these wet. Okay. And we're going to work on some, as we have been kind of all along, working on some more negative painting in watercolor. I am going to start out with my warmest color. And I'm just, that was the lemon yellow. And now I'm just adding just water. Just water. Move the paint around. Maybe get it to drip a little bit. Maybe just some splatters, which will resist the paint a little. Okay. Next color. Next color. Um, I'm gonna go with Azo Yellow Deep, which is a darker kind of yellowy orange, and the idea behind negative painting is to paint around an object to bring it out, um, and Jean Haynes really goes into um, suggesting lightness and brightness and warmth with your colors in her book, which I love, but y'all knew that already, right? <laughs> And the paper is fairly wet, so this new color is going to blend with the other one. So you wouldn't want to do this and say add um, like purple. Well, you might. You would get you know it would turn brown. You might want that. Just be aware of you know when you're laying down these colors um, of what's going to happen. I'm going to put in some red. That was Matter Lake Deep. I'm using, again, the Van Gogh palette. That was kind of a lot of color. I wasn't anticipating that, but, and I could lift some of it, but I'm not gonna lift all of it because we're gonna just go with it. I am working on a Rolodex card that has um, absorbent ground on it. And as you know, because I said before, the absorbent ground doesn't really react the same way as watercolor paper does. So um, it's an interesting process of learning um, this uh, medium. I'm going to dry this a little bit. Not that it's going to make a huge deal. I guess <laughs> that it'll still spread pretty easily. go in with some purple and I'm going to start to hopefully define my shape I'm trying to do a flower here so of my hair in the watercolor but okay <laughs> so I'm gonna lay the pigment down and then I'm gonna go in with just water Pull in some sap green. I'm 
going to go in with some Prussian blue. I'm going to dry it. Prussian blue, I'm going to try to define the flower center here. And then the brush with just some water to just make that spread just a little bit. And then I'm going to blot my brush off and then I'm going to pull some of these little tendrils of the Prussian blue out from the flower center with the very tip of the brush. I'm barely touching the paper. You want some long ones, some short ones. You don't want them to all be the same length. There we go. Now it's starting to look like a flower. All right, and I think I want to go in with some Payne's Gray, and I'm going to use a fairly dry Payne's Gray. It's not, I'm not going to have too much water on the brush. I'm going to let that center dry a little bit and I'm going to go around the outer edge. And the Payne's gray is like a very dark blue-gray. And just like with the other colors, then I'm going to go back around where I put the Payne's gray with just water to hopefully get it to bleed a little bit. Now if you don't do this quick enough and it doesn't bleed, then you need to kind of go back with some more paint. You do kind of want it to bleed. to go back to the center now with the Payne's Gray and I'm again I'm barely 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 touching and I'm going to pull out some tendrils and just oops just some water Probably not water on all of them, just on some of them. See, I like that. I do think I want to add some splatters, so I'm going to take some of my purple. I'm going to pull in some, um, I'm going to mix some vermilion, which is an orange. With the Azo Yellow Deep. To make it a little bit less shocking of an orange.
Okay, somehow I missed the last part of that video, but you get the idea. I did add some white highlights. I think you saw a still sh shot of that. You didn't actually see me do that. I used some Chinese white to add some suggestion of branches off on either side, a little bit of a highlight to the center and around some of the outside of the petals. And there you have it. I wrote on the back and date stamped it with the correct year. Woohoo! <laughs> So there you have it, 30 paintings in 30 days, number 29. We only have one day left. I can't believe it. The month has gone by very quickly, but there you have it. Go out and play, experiment with your paints, especially your watercolors if you've got them, and don't be afraid to just have some fun. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.